All right, there's a little bit of a method to the madness at the bins. Buying is fast paced. They change one aisle after the other after the other. So they put a new aisle, and while everyone's going through that one, they're already changing out the next one, and so on and so on. And it goes for like two and a half straight hours before a break. So they open it at eight, it's 10 minutes of, and they usually give you a few minutes. So we gotta do a fast look through of what's existing from the last night. And I often find a lot of good things at that point. You know, things that people threw back or whatever be the case. And then they start bringing them out. So I'll give you comps of, and show you what I find after each aisle. And that'll probably be the best way to do it. All right, in the hard goods aisle, after everybody cleared out, I found these military jump boots. Money. The brand is built right. Well, I found exact comp, $125. Damn! It's Christmas. We're going to Applebee's after this. And in worse condition. The other ones are labeled as Vietnam era, and these are made in USA, and they're pretty good shape. In the first clothing bin I looked in, I found two men's golf polos, both size 3XL. The first one is an Under Armour. The playoff polo. And the other one is an Adidas Climacool, embroidered Trump National Westchester, which is in New York. Um, these aren't big money, but they do sell pretty consistent for me. I find shirts like this often. Under Armour actually does pretty good compared to like Nike. Under Armour is actually, for me, in my experience, sell better. And these are easy, $15, $18 a pop. Cost me maybe a dollar each. I just finished this crazy. It's like a denim patchwork. Has new with tags. The brand is Blair, which isn't great. But it's got embroidered cats on it. You know, there's a lot of crazy cat lovers out there. Not a strong brand, but the shirt could do all right. Just for the fact that it's denim, denim button downs always do good. And it's got cats. So again, maybe 18 bucks. All right, next row, I just found two more golf polos. Under Armour, another 3XL. And this one is a long sleeve. These are all in perfect condition. And a Foot Joy golf polo, Lago Mar embroidered. All right, just waiting on the next aisle, randomly looking through the older bins. I just found this Starbucks, born this way, all together now t-shirt. It's like a foundation by Lady Gaga. I sold one of these like two years ago for like 30 bucks. And it looks like the prices have gone down a little, maybe only $15, $18, but there are more solds than listed. So it should sell quick and it's worth the pickup for me. All right, in the clothing bin, I just found two Hard Rock Cafe in New York and Orlando vintage hats. I know they're vintage because they're made in Taiwan. Very clean on the inside. Not big money, but they'll sell. All right, just found a Nike pullover hoodie. Nike softball. It was left behind after the crowd. Decent comps, looks like in the $20 range, maybe a little more. Perfect condition. All right, just pulled the Tommy Bahama Supima Polo, from like an aqua blue. Just sold his exact shirt in a darker blue for 22 bucks one week ago. All right, things are winding down. Workers went on break. It's about 10.30. Look at all those stacks of clothes. No much good stuff is in there. But anyway, I think it's about time to wrap it up. All right, there's a good amount of people in here. The people that have been here are off on the sides going through this stuff. And before I leave, I go down all the ends and I check because that's where all the throwbacks are from people that are against the wall and they throw all the ones they don't want back and I often find good stuff there so right before I leave I went up to break starts and no more aisles are coming out I go down all the ends here's an example of how crazy things can get at the bins these two women started fighting over this comforter that was in the plastic bag they each had a side of the bag and they started fighting tug of war until it actually ripped and the worker came over and took it away from both of them. And I was able to get a quick clip of what was happening. 
All right, everything came out with nine pounds, eighteen dollars and forty-nine cents. All right, the one thing I didn't show at the bins it was the very first thing actually that I found. So it was at the bottom of my bag. I didn't want to pull it back out. This smoke rise denim, distressed shorts, patches all over, built-in patches under the distressing. I had never heard of the brand, but I looked it up. You know, um, for what it's worth, it made it cost. Dollar fifty, maybe two bucks, probably a pound. It's called two dollars, so it was worth a pickup for me. They're unique and they had decent uh, comps. And also this little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy. Uh, they changed the hard goods like twice while I was there, but I didn't find anything in the hard goods other than those boots and this guy. Now I don't know much about this or toys, but for what it's worth, it might have cost me a quarter. You know, not even fifty cents threw it in my bag and I'll look it up. I did look at the date on it and I think it was 2011 or 12. All right, and the best find of today was these military jump boots. The one listing says they're Vietnam era. They are made in USA. They have all the printing inside. Built Right is the brand. They got some scuffs. But overall good condition. I'll hit them with some um, Doc Martens Wonder Bomb, Balsam, whatever it's called, and I'll make them look decent and they should sell at least $100 if not a little more. All right, so that's a pretty much typical haul from the bins for two hours. You know, I got about 15 or 16 items. I suppose three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 items. So it's about average for me. And typical brands under armor, Tommy Bahama, Nike, stuff like that. So it should do all right. And like I said, you know, most of these are gonna sell in the $15, $20 range. And then you always have one or two home runs and today the home run was the boots. All right, so the first item I got a pack sold this morning, a little while ago, right after I got home. And it is a red spawn, which is like a gaming chair. And this is a detachable head pillow. I assume for the chair. Found this at the bins. You can tell it's brand new. So whoever bought the chair, she's got like a strap, removed it and got rid of it. And I took an offer of twenty dollars for this. All right, and to ship the pillow. I'm just going to put it into a 15 by 11 eBay padded envelope, and it'll be first class weight. All right, an eight ounce rate, first class. Going to somewhere in Florida that I never heard of. So I assume it's up in North Florida. Cost $3.79. This item going out is a Patagonia, like a lightweight windbreaker, raincoat. This actually sold last night, but they didn't pay. So I had it packed up waiting. And they paid this morning while I was at the bins. Took an offer of $45. I got it for free. And it was in mint condition. Going to Missouri from Miami. $4.68. 12 ounce first class. Next item going out is this vintage Sears binoculars. Found these at the bins, nice and clean. The lenses are nice and clean. When you look through them, you got a clear vision. Uh, these sold for, I believe it was $23.75. And I found these at the bins as well. They're a little over a pound, so they cost about two bucks. And um, I gotta figure out what's gonna be the best shipping option. Regional rate A. Um, had it flat rate. I don't know if I want them banging around. So let me see what's going to be the best bet price wise. Okay, so I tried a few different box sizes. What works best is just an eBay 8x6x4. And I put two little air bubbles on the bottom, wrapped the binoculars in some bubble wrap, laying it flat. Put two more of these air bubbles on top. Like that. And the box will seal up nice. And of course, these are going to California, furthest away. And at one pound, 11 ounces, eight by six by four, it's gonna be $12.29. All right, and for now, the fourth item I gotta pack up are these Rocket Dog, that's the brand. They're like these suede mule clogs with these very knobby treads. Great condition, found these at the bins as well. And I took an offer of $18 on these. All right, and in these, shoes fit into a padded flat rate envelope. 
any women's shoes that are not high end, like nice leather or a heel that can be broken or anything, you know, slides, clogs, sneakers, sandals, things like that, padded flat rate. Never had any problem. $8.20 if you're a top rated seller. All right, all four are done. I will add these to the four that I packed up last night between when my mailman came around three and when I went to bed and um, put them outside for the mailman to pick up. All right, that's a wrap on today's trip to the Goodwill Benz. Thanks for watching.